What is going on? All right. <laughs> that was a little bit long. What is going on, everyone? Let's talk about where you should park your alts and where should you park your main. 1640, 1660, 1680. Bunch of numbers being thrown out here. So let's do the math. Before we begin, we already reached 50 plus followers on Twitch and a lot has joined the Discord. You guys are so amazing and so supportive every time I stream. If you want to come hang out or have any questions to ask, make sure to follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash noeditandy, and also join the Discord so you can ask questions and also know when I'm live, blah, 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 blah. Everything will be in the description. All right, let's start. If it's your main, you should have plus twin, twin, plus 10 advanced honing on everything at the very least. I hope everyone is following with me up to here. Now, this character that I have is 1660 because I honed it a little bit. And plus, I already did plus 20 advanced honing on weapon and gloves. So my situation may be a little different than you all, but the idea same stays the same since you can't do tier 3 advanced honing anymore. In my example, I still need 20 item levels to push. Let's see how much it would cost doing it with regular honing versus advanced honing. I'm going to want to push my weapon as much as possible, but for the sake of making things clean, let's just say plus 15 weapon, the two more hones normally. This will make my weapon eye level 1685 because each hone gives you five item levels. So we're going to cap it above 1680, 1685 by five item levels. My gloves only need 15 item levels thanks to advanced honing from tier three. So it needs three hones, meaning plus 14. My pants need 25 item levels because this one only has 10 advanced honing. But because we have five to spare from our weapon, 20 item levels are all we need, which are four hones, so the pants have to be plus 15. The chest needs the same 25 item levels, but without the five to spare, now we need that extra hone, so it's 16. And same thing goes for this one, same thing goes for this one. It all needs plus 16. Basically, if you have plus 10 advanced honing, you need plus 16 on all of your gear for 1680. It's a lot. If you have advanced honing past plus 10, then you will have a little bit more flexibility. Case in point, my gloves. Is everybody cool so far? Okay. Assuming that I have the shards, let me actually show you the materials calculator right here. So assuming that you have the shards and I imported all of the current NA East market price, make sure you adjust it to your specific server. Now, when I calculate all this plus 16 and this one plus 15, plus 14, plus 15, everything that I just mentioned, I need 1,089,878 gold. Phew! That's a lot of gold, first of all, but to be fair, it's not counting a lot of the bound mats that you may have, so it will be cheaper. It's still really expensive, though, don't get me wrong. But let's see what happens if we try to instead maybe do a little bit of advanced honing to cover for honing at the higher item levels uh, like 16, right? So maybe advanced honing might be worth it instead of doing plus 15, plus 16 hones, maybe. So now you can take off these two from honing. So let's give helmet our example. So we only need plus 14 on our helmet now since we're reducing 10 item levels and that reduces our cost by, I think, 120,000 gold, around there, nearly 120K, because it went from 1,090K to 973K. Nice, so 120K we save. Let's see if advanced honing from 11 
to 20 costs less than 120k. Okay, so I in this second tab, I have the advanced honing bit. All right, so I put 11 to 20, and what do you know? It costs 258,417 gold. So you are effectively paying double the price to advanced hone versus honing normally. This makes sense for now because, you know, at the higher item levels, then maybe advanced honing is better efficiently. But since we're a little bit on the lower end, for now, even with these very high prices, normal honing seems to be the better option here. This is the better cost-effective option. But now we must ask our now we must ask ourselves, sorry guys, is honing to 1680 even worth it? Like this. Is this even worth it? With 1680, let's talk about it. You get access to hard a gear, as well as ancient accessories. Now, what is the point of ancient accessories? All they do is maybe some bonus stuff, but the main purpose is that they give you more points, those enlightenment points that will enable your class arc passive to its fullest. Now you have three paths that you can take here. Number one, do you want to fork over a lot of gold to play your class to its fullest potential at the current moment? Then home to 1680. You will need to whale, but you can possibly make money off of the ancient accessory market depending on how that goes. Number two, this is the second path. Are you free to play that wants that max arc passive, but you're not a whale? Well, be prepared for a hard road. You will need to buy a ton of tradable mats. Most likely, you aren't going to have enough gold. And plus, even if you did, like I, I have the gold, I highly suspect a support shortage. So they most likely won't take your bozo ass without some other good things other than your item level. Since 1680 is the given, now they're going to start looking for other things. So what else can you bring to the table? For example, gems. These are all things you have to consider when rushing to 1680. Do this at your own risk. And path number three. You take it easy. 1640 or 1660 are good parking spots to farm Chaos Dungeons, 1660, you can do normal A gear. Ideally, your alts should be camping in 1640 for a really long time, generating you a lot of gold to funnel into your main. All those accessories, all that gold, all those shards that you get, all should be going to your main. And then your main should hone slowly to 1680 with the bound mats that you get. Eventually, you will hit 1680, and it will be at a time when a lot of people are also getting to 1680. This is how it's been with Lost Ark, with a con, with other like uh, Ivory Tower, with Thaymine. Same thing goes with here. Now, what are my plans? Just because you see 1.6 million gold here, right over here, doesn't mean that I can just spend it however I want. If I was RMTing, then sure, I could just swipe my credit card for more. But this goal took me months to get. A lot and a lot of farming. I do not have the luxury to use it all like in Path 2. I would be gatekept so hard for not having something else. And no gold for cutting good accessories and relic engravings. So no, I am not going Path 2. Nor am I obviously going Path 1. Path 3 is for me and for most free to play. It's the same story as always, like I mentioned. Take it at your own pace and you won't have to worry at all. I'm going to be farming bound mats right here. So I'm slowly farming bound mats and using them to hone my main. Slowly but surely, I am going to be farming ancient gear from A gear normal, which will help me to unlock arc passive and have fun with that for now. 
relic accessories will be used. But I am definitely not going to be sitting there wasting gold on relic accessories. Since once you hit 1680, now you get the brand new shiny ancient accessories, right? So word of advice, do not go to ham on relic accessories. You're going to replace them. Make sure those are cheap as possible, but effective accessories. So you can get that slight damage boost as well as the enlightenment points you get from cutting them. Once the FOMO starts to die down, which it will, I will possibly buy some tradables to push for that final 1680 push. But it all depends on the market and how the lobbies look like. Does it look like there's a lot of supports? Then, and, and I, I can afford it, then most likely I will push to 1680 so I can benefit from it. But what are you all going to do? I am extremely curious to know. Maybe there's a hidden strat out there, but that's even better than what I suggested. Let me know in the comments. Pineapple gang, where are you all at? Let's get some pineapples in the comments like we did in the golden days. I want to see a lot of pineapples in the comments. All right. Take care, everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.